coming to you from RGIS Studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Efforts by the government of St. Lucia to reposition the town of Supre continue to unfold with the official opening of the Old Trafford Complex complete with a farmer's market and bus terminal. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Economic Development, Housing, Urban Renewal, Transport and Civil Aviation, Claudius Emmanuel, expressed gratitude to the government of the People of the Republic of China, Taiwan, for their continued commitment to the socio-economic development of St. Lucia. He explained that the objective of the project is to create a facility that will allow improved vending of produce and a central bus terminal for bus drivers plying the Sufre route. Parliamentary representative for Sufre, Honorable Herod Stanislas, explained that this was only the beginning as there are more phases to come on stream. The opening ceremony was held on Thursday, August 15, 2019. National delegations from 21 Caribbean countries, including St. Lucia, have converged in Trinidad and Tobago for Carifesta 14 to showcase and market their cultural and creative talents. The festival has evolved and transformed over its 46-year history and is expected to generate greater value for key stakeholders like artists, cultural entrepreneurs, host and sending governments, and the CARICOM Secretariat. A major highlight of the festival is the CARIFESTA 14 Grand Market at the Grand Stand Queen's Park Savannah, where festival goers can shop, dine and lime. The St. Lucia contingent has also been had at rehearsals for the production entitled A Little Folk Tale, which is written by Monico Gist and Jesse Mayers. A Little Folk Tale will be staged at Queen's Hall in Port of Spain on Friday, August 23rd. The Oath of Giving, Togo, has partnered with the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association and Body Holiday Resorts to raise funds to purchase a vital piece of equipment capable of diagnosing cataracts at an early stage to prevent vision loss. The group paid a courtesy call to the SLBWA office on Friday, August 9th to get a better appreciation of the work being done by the SLBWA on behalf of the blind and visually impaired persons in St. Lucia. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.